and overactive immune system may react to harmless things like dust, foods, and pollen. For those of us with MS, our overactive immune system responds to that harmless thing we call myelin that wraps our brains and spinal cord. Wisdom teeth are usually only removed if they cause problems. There are no scientifically proven health benefits of pulling wisdom teeth. But herein lies the problem. Hey, it's Steve. While some people are born without wisdom teeth, a vast majority have all four. I only had my top two. They started to come in in my late teens and early 20s. I remember when I used to run my tongue along them, I could feel them. Just the chops though, and not complete teeth. Maybe there wasn't enough room for them, so they started to come in, but then stopped. That's what they call becoming impacted. And I think that's where this problem started. I had vertical impaction. The teeth were in the correct position for eruption, but they stayed trapped halfway between coming out and staying beneath my gum line. Since they never really bothered me, after they started halfway come in, I tend, I just stopped thinking about them. Roughly 60 to 70% of all wisdom teeth will eventually become impacted. Wisdom teeth are classified as third molars. And turns out, they are deeply interconnected with the immune system. I see it clearly now. It became a gateway for my immune, overactive immune system to enter my brain and spinal cord. So going back a week or, week or two ago, during my last dental visit, the issue was finally addressed. The teeth were messing with the, the, the wisdom teeth were messing with the alignment in the back and messing with my back molars. I wasn't aware that wisdom te tooth extraction is the ultimate solution. But taking them out has changed everything. So a few weeks ago, as I said, I went to have them taken out. Unfortunately, it didn't, I didn't film any of it. I forgot my phone at home and <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, it happened so fast. I think it might have taken me at most 20 minutes. <laughs> and I think 19 of those were, was the di di dental hygienist numbing my mouth. So it was, even if I had brought my phone, it was pretty useless. That made the whole process rather uh, anticlimactic. So while I was sitting there, totally numb, and I think I was even drooling, uh, my dentist came in and said there would be a couple jerks. He started, and my head was jerking around, and I couldn't feel anything, but I sensed when, when the tooth finally released, I think there was three or four jerks, but then there was there was the final jerk where it, I felt like it released. It was quick and easy. He quickly switched sides, and the process was essentially the exact same thing, just the exact mirror of the first. I was gearing up for the ensuing pain, but I got home and started with the Advil and Tylenol schedule the dental hygienist recommended, but 
no pain when I got home. No pain when I took the Advil and Tylenol. And so then the next day came, I started with the Tylenol and Advil. Again, no pain at all. <laughs> By the third day, I, th I just finally gave up with taking the pills. I mean, I felt great more than I did even before I had them taken out, my teeth taken out. The whole experience quickly became just water under the bridge. But as I alluded to at the beginning of this video, I started to become laser focused on making it a co the connection between my impacted wisdom teeth and my central nervous system. The literature I looked at and was gathering information from wasn't a whole lot. It was buried under information about wisdom teeth in general. I mean, it's, there, there just isn't much out there. After showing what was there, I became laser focused in particular to my gums as a major player. Over 6 million bacteria, including 700 different species, reside in the mouth. Some promote health, others provoke disease. We swallow plenty of bacteria that end up in our guts. But the bloodstream is also a convenient form of transport. Each time we chew, brush, or floss, these germs get pushed into small vessels in the gums. The base of each of the teeth, around your whole, all, all of them, not just the wisdom teeth, around all your teeth, are protected by what's called the biological width. But when we have impacted wisdom teeth like I did, the seal becomes broken. One known organism with the ability to cause harm is called PG. I'll put a, the title of it below. Researchers know it can sneak across the blood-brain barrier that protects the CNS. Once there, PG can cause pathological changes and promote diseases like multiple sclerosis. There are billions and billions of bacteria in the mouth. And it's important to keep the gums and mouth healthy. Here's my way to do it. First and foremost, visit your dentist. I know many of us are scared of the dentist with the drills and the, the pokey things and it just a lot, it just strikes fear in a lot of us, but they want to help. If you have any impact your wisdom teeth, take them out as soon as possible. Second, brush twice a day, morning and night. Make sure you do it both. I brush for a full two minutes on the teeth themselves and then an additional two minutes on the gums using my Sonicare toothbrush. Flossing is just as important. I use a water pick instead of floss. I think it helps dislodge bits of food that would otherwise collect bacteria like PG. And I think it does, I think the water pick might even do it better than floss itself. Third, I don't use mouthwash. It's too disruptive to the oral microbiome to allow for proper growth of the good bacteria that fights PG. Last, behind protein, fruits and vegetables make up the cornerstone of my diet. 
the fiber in them creates more saliva in the mouth, which helps get rid of excess food and offsets harmful, bad, harmful acids that can promote the growth of bad, bad, bad bacteria. Now that I have my impacted wisdom teeth removed, I feel my overactive immune system calming down. Have you had your wisdom teeth removed? Did you feel any benefits? Let me know down in the comments. You know how I love to talk to you guys. And I love answering all your questions. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.